Today we're visiting Sandbar Restaurant in Cold Spring Harbor and joining mixologist Dan Leopold who will be creating some holiday cocktails using Hatasaki Finest Whiskey and Hatasaki Small Batch Whiskey. Hatasaki Finest Japanese Whiskey is a premium blend of whiskeys aged up to 12 years in barrels with a minimum malt whiskey content of 40%. Light in style with a rich backbone of malt whiskey character. Hatazaki Small Batch Whiskey is a vatting of 100% malt whiskeys, which have been aged in imported bourbon casks, imported sherry casks, and native Mizunara oak barrels. So we're going to be doing two drinks today uh, with both the, the finest whiskey and the small batch whiskey. The two drinks I'm going to be doing with the finest whiskey is the baked apple old fashioned and the hot toddy. And then with the small batch, we're going to do a fig old, uh, fig Manhattan, rather, and uh, just a perfect Manhattan as well. Okay, so to build the baked apple old fashioned, first you're going to get your glass. You're going to take a cherry. You're going to get a bit of quick punch with your muddle, not to really macerate it down, but just to free up the flavors and the oils and every all the flavor in the cherry. We're going to give two dashes of orange Angostura bitters. Then we're going to take our apple puree that you made beforehand. You're going to give about a half ounce. You're going to take your cinnamon simple syrup, quarter ounce of that, kind of let that mix together. Then we're going to drop some ice on top. And now's the time to put the Hatazaki whiskey into the glass. We're going to do two and a half ounces of that. I'm going to give you a small batch uh, sweet vermouth. And do a quarter ounce of that and then we're going to stir the flavors all mixed together take an amarena cherry and a nice twist of orange and there's your baked apple old-fashioned the apple for the fall cinnamon plus the whiskey really warms you up and it doesn't take so much away from the whiskey it just is a nice addition too to really you know make a delicious drink now I'm going to show you how to make our hot toddy. It's one of my favorite cold weather wintry drinks. It's really easy and basic, but it comes out with great flavors and it's perfect to drink in the snow. So we're just going to build it real quick. Take two and a half ounces of your Hatazaki whiskey and pour it into whatever fossil we have. We're going to take a quarter ounce of cinnamon syrup. We're going to do a half ounce of your apple puree. We're going to do a half ounce of lemon juice. We're going to give it about two ounces of cranberry. And now the fun part where we go and we actually warm it up. Just pour it into your favorite glass and garnish it with a nice little lemon twist. Now there you have your hot toddy with your Hatazaki whiskey. So this next one is going to be our Fig Manhattan. So not to overpower the whiskey with all other flavors. We're going to just use a little bit of a fig puree that we cooked down here, uh, sweet vermouth, a little Angostura bitters again, and then uh, the whiskey itself. So it's going to be, you know, it's a very old school drink, but it's the modern take on it to give it some, some freshness. So now using the small batch Hatazaki whiskey, it's going to be a much different flavor than what we used before with the, uh, the finest whiskey. This is going to have a little bit more punch, so a little bit more uh, flavorful, if you will. You're just gonna ice down your mixing glass. You take your small batch hot tzatziki whiskey. You're gonna give yourself two and a half, three ounces. Your sweet vermouth. One ounce of that. A few dashes of your Angostura bitters. And then we're gonna take our fig puree, which we have over here. Give you three quarters of an ounce of the fig puree. And when you're making a Manhattan, you want to stir it. You don't want to shake it because you want it to stay clean, not bitter. And as we do here at Sandbar, we use our sidecar to not water down the, the drink. So you can take a nice, easy drink. It stays cold. And then you're going to garnish with three Amarena cherries. And there's your Hatazaki Fig Manhattan.
The last drink I'm going to show you with the small batch Hatazoki uh, whiskey is a perfect Manhattan. It is the whiskey version of a martini. So people who don't want it to be a little sweet or extra sweet, uh, they want a perfect Manhattan because it cuts with dry vermouth and sweet vermouth and it really showcases the small batch Hatazaki and the, the, you know, the true flavors that are going to come out in the whiskey itself. Well, ice down the glass, you take your Hatazaki small batch, and I have two and a half ounces of that. And now we're going to cut it with both sweet and dry vermouth. So I'm going to use three quarters of an ounce of the small, the, the sweet. You're going to use three quarters of an ounce of the dry vermouth. We're going to take our bitters, three dashes of that. And then, again, you're going to stir. So we keep the whiskey nice and clean. It doesn't get too aerated. And then we just strain into a glass. And then garnish with some amarena cherries. And there's your Hatazaki small batch perfect Manhattan. Well, thank you very much for coming down today and let me showcase the Hatazaki small batch and their finest whiskey. Uh, you can find drinks like this at Sandbar in Cold Spring Harbor uh, in New York. We are a fine cocktail and food establishment. A lot of seafood. You can find us here at Sandbar at 55 Main Street in Cold Spring Harbor. Right down the street from the water, you can come and have a beer and a burger while watching the game at the bar or experience a fine dining experience in the dining room with us.